dissociative identity disorder. What is dissociative identity disorder? I am Dr. Hassan Tawheed. I am a neuroscientist. As many of you already know, I have published around 45 research papers and uh, working on more and more research papers. And some of them are on dissociative identity disorder. And I'm studying dissociative identity disorder in more and more detail. I, I have read every possible information I could find on DID. And still, I believe I, I lack knowledge on DID. But whatever I do know, I'll share with you guys today. Dissociative identity disorder, previously known as a multiple personality disorder, and some people used to call it a switch personality disorder. This is a mental disorder. It is described by the DSM Diagnostic Statistical Manual, DSM-5, as a mental illness. According to DSM, it's a disruption of identity characterized by two or more distinct personality states, and it can be confused with demonic possession. So when you see a person switching personality or changing personality, don't judge that person right away and consider that person as demonically possessed. I'm not denying demonic possession. What I'm saying is that what, what we consider as demonic possession is actually a mental disorder. DSM is a, a DSM is by American Psychiatric Association. It's a diagnostic statistical manual, and uh, the latest version came out in May 2013, the um, the fifth one, and uh, that has defined psychiatric illnesses. And DSM is and uh, DID is one of those diseases that has been defined by DSM. And uh, what is DID? DID has a symptom where patients they change their personality, they split personality, they change personality, and uh, some people call it a split personality disorder. And uh, now, now the point is that how do they switch personalities? How do they split personality? They forget one personality under the influence of another personality. Let's say I am, I am Dr. Hassan. I can become. I can become Michael Jordan and I start believing that I'm Michael Jordan. I started behaving like him and I don't have a control. I, ha I don't have any control on my own personality. I now forget totally about myself and I have become Michael Jordan. And when I come back to my normal state, people will tell me that you were Michael Jordan. Do you know you were behaving like him? You were talking like him. You believe you're Michael Jordan. And I would say, no, I don't remember that. That's what DID is all about. People can have two personalities, three personalities, four personalities. I have seen a patient with seven personalities. I have seen different patients with different personalities. And uh, that's what I want to discuss with you guys today, that DID is a reality. Don't, don't mix it with demonic possession. And when you see a DID patient, refer them to a psychiatrist, refer them to a hospital, and they need psychiatric treatment, they need psychotherapy, and we don't have a permanent cure yet, but it is a mental illness. I had a patient who used to have seven personalities, and uh, remember, DSM has said that the DID cannot be diagnosed if a patient switches personalities under the influence of a drug. But that patient actually, she did change personalities while under the influence of drug or stress. So what I'm saying is that under the influence of stress and, uh, and uh, drug influence, she used to change her personality. And she said to me that she, she had, she had clear memory of the new personality and the previous personality and her internal self, her real self was fighting with the previous personality. And many DID patients will tell you the same story. So this does happen. This does happen. So remember that. And I want all of you to remember this, that DID is a reality. It's a mental illness. And what happens in the brain? Different studies have been conducted. Changes in hippocampal region of the brain and the amygdala region of the brain have been observed. There is a reduction in the size of hippocampal and amygdala region of the brain. And the, these regions, the hippocampus is associated with long-term memory. Amygdala is associated with emotions and fear. And uh, then other parts of the brain that are affected are the prefrontal cortex. Prefrontal cortex is affected and uh, the, the parietal lobe is affected. So different regions of the brain have been found to be affected in DID patients. 
So I want you to remember this. They try to differentiate DID from demonic possession. I don't know how demonic possession look, looks like. But what I do know is how DID looks like. DID patients will switch personalities and come back to their real self. They may believe sometimes that they are demonically possessed, but sometimes they, they will just change personality to an, to an older person or to a kid. Let, let's say that I am a person with DID, if, for example, so I will change my personality to a, to a seven-year-old kid, and then I'll come back to my normal self, and then later on I may become a 55-year-old. So I don't necessarily have to become a demonically possessed person to be a DID patient. But yes, some of these patients, they believe they are demonically possessed. So they believe that they have been demonically possessed. They have been they have been occupied by by a demon, a ghost, and uh, they change their voice. They they make that voice and they behave like the, the like uh, like a ghost or like a genie or a demon. So that's what I'm trying to suggest that they can change it, change to any personality. The personality can switch to any personality, and this is beyond person's control. Some patients will have a memory of it, a vague memory, and they will they will remember uh, remember uh, that they were fighting with that personality, but others will not remember fighting with that personality. Others will not remember fighting with that personality. They don't remember anything at all, and uh, it's a tragic tragic uh, disease. Ask those people whose families have been affected. Just watch some documentaries on YouTube, and you will find out that how how it happens there have been animal studies that have shown that GABA the chemical GABA amino butyric acid is higher in dissociation the higher quantities of GABA can lead to dissociation so it's a chemical imbalance as well it's a structural deformity it's a blood circulation problem in the orbitofrontal cortex region of the brain. There is a blood circulation uh, problem in the orbitofrontal cortex region of the brain. There are plenty of studies on DID. You can read some studies and you will read about the, the pathology, the pathophysiology, the mechanism of this disease and uh, read more about it. Educate yourself and educate others as well, those who don't know about that disease. And if any of your family members or friends has DID, then refer them to a doctor, refer them to a psychiatrist so that, uh, 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 so that an early treatment can be started and you guys can, you guys can uh, help that person. Thank you. I'm Dr. Hassan Tawhid. It was a pleasure talking with you guys today. Thank you. Have a good day.